Hello guys, in this video, we're going to set up an IAM user and IAM group. So for you to come to this environment, just click on, just type IAM. Select IAM. So, so um, click on users, then um, click add users, then you can give your user a name. For this one, I'll type, I'll use my name Kingsley and select um, provide user access to the AWS management console. AWS, AWS general recommend space, um, identity center, but in this video, we'll select, I want to create an IAM user, select this, and um, we'll use cost, custom password. So now you can type in your password, type in your personal password, So this is my password. So after typing your password. Sorry for intruding. If you're enjoying my content, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you never miss an upload. It really helps me out and allows me to create more videos for you. Thank you so much for your support. Uncheck um, this user must create a new password in the next sign in so that you will not be changing password every second you sign in. So click on next. So um, the permission option, I, you will choose add users to group and click on next. And then click create password. So click on return to users list. Click on continue. You can see that we've successfully created our IAM user. So click on your on the IAM user we just created. And if you see generally when you when you create an IAM user, there's no permission, there's no policy, there's no permission attached to it. So you can see that the permission are generally blank. So for we to create, for we to give our IAM user privilege, let's um, create a group. So click on user group and click create group. So let's call group. We want to give full administrative access to our user the user account we created the username will be admin so let's type admin since we want to give um the full administrative access to this user we just created so click um then so for we to give full administrative access so just type on the administrator And here you will see, um, and here you will see administrator access. You will see that it said it provide full access to AWS resources and services. So select it. And if you click here, click on the plus sign, you will see um, the policy. And the policy is a simple JSON, which is a um, JavaScript object notation. So you will see that the effect is allow everything and the action is a white card that said allow all action. And the resources is, is a, a white card which said allow, which specify is a simple JSON that said allow all action to assess all resources. So let's now click create group.
So now we've create group. Um, click on the group we the user IAM groups we just created. Click on the group and and come here and click um, add users. So now we can now add the IAM user we just create initially, which is Kingsley. Select it and click add user. So so now this this um this IAM user have full administrative access. It is best practice to create an IAM user and give him give it a full administrative access um, so that you will be logging in with this. It is not advisable to use your root account when logging in into your AWS account. After setting up the AWS account, we need to get our account ID or account alias in order to, to log in into our AWS account with the new IAM user we created with full administrative access. So for we to go back to our dashboard, let's, let's type our IAM and select IAM. And it will bring us to this unique dashboard. And by the right hand side, you will see your account ID or and account alias. So let's copy our account ID and let's log us from our AWS root account. And let's log in again. So here we'll select our IAM user. And uh, we are going to paste our account ID here and click on next. Then you type in your IAM username you used and you type in your custom password here. So, the, so this is how you log in into your AWS IAM user account. Thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my video, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and smash the like button.